Oh my goodness, she's a babe. I finally got one of my goals in this game, which was to get a turtle. The other one is to get a penguin, so we're still waiting on that one. But alligator snapping turtle, I am so happy I got her out of one of these blue chests. Very cool. Look at her scurrying along the floor. Look at her. Look at her go. Oh my goodness. She is so cute. So yes, it is exotic time. We've got a gold to start with. What are we gonna get? A two-star Asian bear. That guy could be useful. Although I've already got a wolf. But look at him. Look at him do his little dance. Asian bear. He's got very cute eyebrows. Got some more exotic tokens. I have been, you know, coming back and doing these every few days. And most of the time the bronze ones just give elixirs. So they're boring. Blue one. We get a macaque. Very pretty. You know, I like having Monk in my, in my game. Oh, he's broken. Oh, did you see Monk? Looks like he just skids. Okay. And then, wow, a duplicate skidding monk. Really? This happens more than I'd like to admit. You thought we were done? No way, Jose. I've got another boat to finish off that gives us another three tokens. I am going to be really, really happy when I finally get one of those special tokens that can give four stars. I hope that we can get a four star eventually. What do we get? Another elixir out of the bronze. What about our silver? A hog badger. I've already got one of those. So that gives us an elixir. What about gold? Really? A duplicate one star? No! Another gold for us to try out. Come on, penguin. Penguin, I'm begging. I'm begging for penguin. Game, you know you want it. Oh, the next best thing. A gecko. Oh my goodness. She is also cute. Wow. I didn't even know there was a gecko. Look at him! I, I just said she and he. Maybe you're both. Maybe you are both. Another day. Another set of exotic tokens. Out of our bronze we get nothing. Out of our silver we get a kangaroo. But I've already got a kangaroo. Out of our gold we get... Oh, again? <laughs> the same dupe again? Why? Okay, I used some launch cards and I got two more golds. We got another dupe, which is really disappointing. And, and that's actually a new one. I needed him. I needed a new forest um, animal because I didn't have any two stars. So this badger is actually going to come in very, very handy. So I am level 18 now. And for this, we do unlock Luna the cat. We unlock some recycling station stuff. We've got hedgehogs. Um, it's just been the same grinding on top of the taco stand event, really. But yes, we've got Luna the Florist. So I'm guessing this cat digs up flowers? Ah, uh, look at that cute kitten. Look at that little cute kitten. Meow! So yes, I did a bit of redecorating around as well, just to make it easier to see all of my animals. But I've been gaining levels quite quickly the last couple of days. We do need to get the frying station unlocked, because I think that's used in some either boat deliveries or something else important. But I think it at least makes decent money. So yeah, we've got lots of pigos, we've got more ducks, which is very cool. I've got like two species or three species of ducks now. So. I'm really happy with that, um, but it seems like every time you unlock a new species you do still get more fields, so I really want to get as many species as possible unlocked so that I can get lots and lots of fields. But during the taco stand event it's really really tough trying to manage everything and I, I don't think I can keep doing boat orders while I'm doing the taco stand stuff because I just end up my um, my baking area just gets so full all the time. And plus having to manage the planting of like the beans and stuff, my goodness, it can get chaotic. But still no three star at this point, which kind of sucks. Like I've done lots and lots of pulls and I have to say that it's probably one of the most annoying parts of the game so far. Like I love being able to see whether I got a, you know, a gecko or, or a, a penguin or not which I don't have yet, but the RNG, it feels like it can also screw you over because I'm really feeling it in the map now. Like the two star animals, just they're not cutting it. I can't really progress on the map anymore. 
So maybe this is where we start encountering the the more pay to win side of the game where it's like, oh, this side of the game is probably not going to be very easy for us to do free to play. But I digress. For now, focusing on orders is still really important while the taco stand stuff's happening because then we can unlock new plots and plus we can that way make sure that we don't ever run out. But like, I'm barely even able to keep up. Oh, that luck. I'm barely even able to keep up with like the avocado missions now. But chapter seven, I have been stuck on chapter seven of the map for ages. And like, I've just been doing it even with like one bar of chance and sometimes getting progress, but it just taken forever. Like, I think it's pretty clear that from like, chapter 7 onwards, you probably need three stars to be able to at least have a decent chance. I wanted to get the weather station unlocked as soon as I can. I don't know what it does, but it looks interesting. But if I can't progress on the map, and I keep getting cucked during these avocado hunts, it's just not gonna happen, game. But yeah, the RNG side of the animal collecting is probably one of the most frustrating. And at first I thought it was going to be the gold collecting, because to begin with, you barely had any gold. But the more into this I'm getting, the, it seems like you generate quite a lot of gold from all the things that you're making. Unless I've just been really active. But, you know, popping the beans in as soon as they're ready. We also need lots of sunflower oil, lots of flour. It's just constantly coming back to these fields to till. And I cannot stress how annoying the barn is. The, the storage space issue is a big problem in this game. Like genuinely, every time I go to collect something, I have to go and clear out my barn every time. And like, I'm not gonna waste loads of gems on just item upgrades for the barn. It's not worth it because I need to save up for those special super tokens so that then I believe we're at least guaranteed a three star with the, are they called epic tokens I think? The ones above gold anyway. I think we're at least guaranteed a three star if not a four star from that. So I really want to save up the gems for that to get a good animal so that I can do some map progress but <sighs> the RNG so far is not is not being kind to me, let's put it that way. So I'm just going to keep saving up my gems for now. I also need to be able to purchase this woodland animal area. I think that's where the hedgehogs go. And is, is this a... Uh... Oh, these are my rewards for coming first. Heck yeah. We've got screwdriver, stickers, and we've been promoted to Wood League 2. That was quite easy. So purchase the boost and earn two times more ribbons for 24 hours. No thanks, I don't want to do that. I guess I should have done this before I collected all my stuff. But yeah, there's actual ranked in this game. This is kind of weird. Okay, we'll see if I can get first again, which I'm not sure about. But yeah, woodland animals I think is related to those hedgehogs. So they look kind of cute. I'll be planning on unlocking this as soon as I can, which is now. But we still need to collect all the wood that we need for it. So now we're going to have to use all of our energy on basically demolishing trees. Chad! Chad. I need your help, Chad. Can you... No, not the bridge. The tree. Chad, can you come and uh, help me get some wood, please? I'm in desperate need of some woodland animals. I would greatly appreciate your help. Wait, did I accidentally do a stone? Oopsie. But either way, this is my current progress and how it's going. Um, I do hope to get the Ocelot from the Taco event. I don't know if that's going to happen. But at the very least, I can get the other bonus rewards and we can keep progressing in the base game. But I'm still somewhat having fun with this game, which I didn't expect. I, I sort of played it as a meme, but now I'm highly invested. <laughs> okay, I'm not highly invested. I haven't actually invested any money, but... You know, with barbecues and frying stations and recycling stations. Eventually, there's going to be so much to have to do. And I'm already feeling it. Compared to, like, day one and day two, my goodness, there is so much more to have to do in-game now. So, that is, uh, that is my Farmville 3. But the gold has been fine. 
for a while now. I don't know what else to say about it. Seems okay. But I guess we will claim this, which is going to give us some more gold, some more gems. I'll keep clearing out boats, missions, whenever I can to get more tokens. But they're going to be... They get more and more difficult, which I was hoping wouldn't be the case. But they do. But anyway, I think that is going to do me for now, apart from my deliveries. So, uh... You know, good luck if you're pulling your own exotics. It is very RNG, so you need all the luck that you can get. And I will be very, very eager to get my first three and four stars. If it ever happens, that is. Please, game. Please, give me. Give me my three and four stars.